I think the, the goals are the same. I think we still want to win the ACC Conference Championship, ACC Tournament Championship, and eventually a National Championship. Just a great win over a really good team. They will do really well in the Big Ten, so I think that's a huge win for us this early year. Taylor Ryan, the freshman forward, from Fisher is just getting it done. Efficient on both ends of the court. 19 points, 13 rebounds. Yeah, I love where she is because she's really getting comfortable. She's doing the right things. She's really smart. She picked things up really quickly. Uh, she can score on the basket. She can put the ball on the floor. She can rebound and bring it up. Uh, I, I'm just really pleased with where she is right now. <laughs> Rebound by the Irish is up, no good. Rebound again by Notre Dame is up. This time it's good. Natalie Chalmers gets it to go. And I thought Natalie Chalmers had a great second half, and I thought Jewel and K-Mac's defense on uh, Maggie Lucas was the key to the game. Well, K-Mac to the hoop, lays it up, missed it. He's got the rebound, put it up and in. Good ball movement. Allen thinks about it, pulls the trigger, and that is the first basket of the game. And the Allen stop, pops from the free throw line, counting. She is really been phenomenal. I mean, she really, she just gets better every game. She's really coachable. a good preview for us of knowing that there is not going to be an easy game in the ACC. It's a great conference. Every team is going to come in um, and be ready to play us. We've got to be ready. Court side at the Thompson Bowling Arena. So the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame get ready to go against Tennessee tonight. It's a Kayla McBride. And Kayla McBride goes left side to Mabry. Earth three on the way. Got it. Big shot for the Irish right there. Three seconds. K-Mac comes open. Three on the way. Got it. It's 46-41. And the Irish finishing with a nice run. Got down 11, you know, and had a nice run at the end of the half to uh, kind of tighten the gap. And then uh, I thought our bench was outstanding with Michaela Mabry and Madison Cable coming in, just hitting huge shots. Five, Tennessee 51. Shot from the corner, good! Knocking it down again, Madison Cable. And the fighting Irish of Notre Dame after trailing by 12 in the first half. Come back to score 45 points in the second half and take care of the Lady Biles by a score of 86-70. Hard to say we're underrated, ranked number two. Um, but uh, you know, I really don't look at the rankings. I don't care about the rankings, and uh, you know, we just we just want to get better every game and get ready for March. Mike hitting the threes. She's doing her job. Her job is to shoot the ball, and she's shooting it really efficiently. I think defensively, she's made great strides. She really sees the floor. And I think that's one of her great strengths is that she can really fast. Breaker jumping in with a passing lane. Ariel Breaker with the takeaway and the breakaway. I think that's her job. She, she, she really just needs to rebound and defend. She's very good at those things, and she's a kind of a glue player. She doesn't need to score. She doesn't need to get a lot of attention. Um, she's really happy to play that kind of role. She's kind of a blue collar worker out there, and she'll dive from these balls. She'll, she'll come up with a big steal just about every game or a block shot or something big every game. And, you know, we really need her to do that. So I, I, I think she's she's having a really great year. Dave Tash, Rebecca Lobo, and Bill Walton on hand for the call. And there is Lloyd. Heard from for the first time in 10 minutes. Checks the shot clock. McBride puts it up, and it's good! 12 seconds to go, and Notre Dame survives to stay undefeated at 19-0. We're going to be in some battles in this <clears throat> league. Everybody's good, uh, so we've really got to be ready. I never worry about Natalie. 
Um, she's probably the most mature player that, that I've ever coached. Um, she understands the game so well. She knows what she has to do. Um, she, she will be ready tomorrow. She's going to be ready on Sunday. Uh, I, I think she, she comes into every game uh, with the right mental approach. Better name, a huge winner in this one, like we said, moving to 7-0 and in Atlantic Coast play. It's just that time of the year when um, it's hard to find energy, uh, especially from the starters. So you really need somebody on the bench to come in and, and just give you a shot. And uh, I thought Madison Cable did a really good job of that tonight. Career high rebounds with uh, 12 or 13, and she hit that three in the first half. That kind of got us going a little bit. The bench mob, the bench squad, whatever you want to refer to them as, Cable, Mabry, they will make you pay from downtown. Coming into February now and, and looking at playing Duke twice, it's going to be a, just a, a battle. You know, I think it's going to be a war. We, we beat them last year to go to the Final Four, and I'm sure that they have revenge on their minds. Goes back again down the lane, shovels it up, wouldn't go. Got her own rear. Marquisha Wright with a rebound. Mabry with a three on the way, wouldn't go. And Marquisha Wright with another rebound. Kicks it out to K Mac. Marquisha Wright now down low. Jewel Lloyd to the baseline. Off the glass, wouldn't go. And another rebound by Marquisha Wright. And she puts it up and in. Wow! What a sequence that was for Marquisha Wright. Trying to go to the hoop. Kicked it off to Allen. Her three and away. Got it! Rebound weak side. Reimer out to Jewel Lloyd. Three and away. Got it! Lindsay Allen down the lane. In the paint. All the way to the hoop. Put it up. Got it to go. Drew the foul. Kicked it in the corner. Got it to Mabry. Three and away. Got it! Lost the ball. Jewel Lloyd comes up with it. Can Jewel beat everybody to the hoop? She'll try off the glass, got it to go, and a blocking foul called on Duke inside, and the horn goes off, and this one is over. And ladies and gentlemen, your second-ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish have come in and played like a national champion caliber team. We just really, really played well offensively. I mean, shot the ball well, 61% um, from the field. That's, that's pretty amazing against a team as good as Duke and, and as good defensively as they are. You know, I, I think we're a different team this year. I, I think it's a team that everybody has stepped up and done a little bit more. I think we're a little harder to guard because the offense doesn't run through one person. I think we have uh, multiple people who can bring the ball up. Uh, we have multiple people who can handle the ball and score. And so I think it, it makes us a little harder to guard. I mean, they've been the heart and soul of this program. The great thing about this trio is they, they complement each other so well. A vocal leader in Ace and a leader by example in KMAC, and then Ariel is, is the one that's going to give the personal touch. I think our success is all completely based on the players. I mean, we've, we've had good recruiting classes over the last probably five or six years, and, and it shows. Uh, I think when you have good players, it makes you look really good. And uh, these guys, they work hard, they're self-motivated, uh, they compete. I'm the luckiest person in the world to be coaching this team. Now a great pass from K-Mac to Natalie Achanwa. Ace is on the board at 6-0 Notre Dame with timeout for Joanne P. McCauley. Allen back to K-Mac. She's open. Jump run away. Got it! Three-pointer! 11-0 Notre Dame! Now K-Mac comes open. Three on the way. Got it! Ace back to K-Mac. Three on the way. Got it! A career high, 31 points for Kayla McBride. But 31 points, I mean, she was just amazing, really unstoppable. Boy, she just, she just kept on going, and uh, what, a, what a great game. She's certainly the best player in the ACC, and when a team wins, wins the league and has the best player, um, I think you gotta, you got to see that. And she certainly is, uh, you know, I, I would pick her number one in the WNBA draft if I was coaching. Kamek going inside, kicked it off to Lloyd. Here's a rhythm shot. Three pointer good. That's what we're looking for. A terrific game. Now Hannah Huffman gets loose down low. Put it up off the glass and in. 82 52. Irish by 30. Fighting Irish with Notre Dame, 29 and 0. They run the table in the ACC, 16 and 0. And they're heading for the ACC tournament as the number one seed. Allen in traffic, kick it left side. Mabry open for three. And the way got it again. See, looking inside, goes Jewel back door, lob pass, and Jewel finishes. The Julie Oop, fighting Irish with Notre Dame. They win today 83 57.
over Florida State. I think this is a group that just goes out and gets it done every day. They have a business-like approach. Uh, they don't get too high after the wins or, or um, you know, too low after a bad day or, you know, adversity strikes. I, I don't think anybody puts their head down. Um, they expect to win. They play with confidence. And uh, it's, it's a really fun team to coach. Lloyd, is there anything she can't do? No, there isn't. Him up. Reimer, yes! And Lakeisha Daniel, the previous knee injuries. Oh my goodness. Is it that easy, Michaela Mabry? <laughs> because she certainly makes it look like it. Notre Dame with a convincing wire to wire win 83 to 48. You're getting two top teams in the country here today. Number two, Notre Dame, number three, Duke. Taya Reimer got it back to KMAC. She fires a three and away got it! What an answer. 28-26 Irish and Kayla McBride with 15 first half points. East gives it back to Jewel. Three on the way. Got it. Jewel Lloyd feeling it. Taya thought maybe she'd do a foul. Now they lob it to Jewel Lloyd. Oh, it's a my, my. What a highlight. The Julie Oop. The what Jewel a beautiful Lloyd. pass and transition. The Jewel's ability to get up over oh. the defense and, and score that is just amazing. And that's it. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame have won the ACC regular season and have won the ACC postseason tournament. The second team in the history of women's college basketball to do that, leave one conference with the championship and then win it in the next uh, season in a new conference. It, it's good for us going into the NCAAs. It's, it's a good momentum. But, you know, I think we, we know what our goals are. We know what our expectations are. And this was one of them. Um, and we're just trying to go on to the next one.